Hey guys, the bus made it to Colorado. Uh, you like this? We got fresh tires today. A new battery. She starts up real nice. I'll show you guys. <laughs> oh yeah. Fire's right up. 90,000 miles on this baby. She's filling up. We're gonna go pick up a little love seat that's gonna go right here. We're going to pick that up right now. We have this little mini fridge that was gifted to us, as well as this little electric grill. It's so cute. table our solar panel solar powered shower it's called a summer shower uh, we got it off Amazon um, we're just gonna have that chilling kind of right there so that the Sun can beam down in there and it's going to be ready for us to shower <laughs> <laughs> Morning guys. This was our first stay over in the bus and it went great. 
And let me just show you guys our backdrop here because it is amazing. Oh my God. I love Tahoe. It's so beautiful. But everything went awesome. I'm getting ready to try out my solar powered shower. It's out here hanging out in the sun, heating up. And so we fill it up with water, obviously. Um, this is a five gallon bag. Um, so that's quite a bit. Um, that should be plenty for a little shower just to rinse off. Um, so you wanna put it with this clear window um, facing the sun in direct sunlight. And then when it gets starts getting to a certain temperature, um, obviously these on the bottom are Celsius. Um, and then it will light up the color in Fahrenheit when it starts getting to 92 degrees. Um, so yeah, this, war this water gets pretty warm. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I did place it in the sun um, and it did heat up all the way to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we'll see. I'm really excited to try it. Okay guys, I just wanna show you first so you can see it started lighting up and <coughs> 104 is lit. We lit. <laughs> so uh, my boyfriend is gonna go put it in the tree for me. Please go. <laughs> It has a buckle strap oh, on the top. God. I know it's heavy. I might have to help you. Um, so we're gonna buckle it right to this branch up here. Okay. Yay! So stoked. And it's a mess. <laughs> Welcome home. Hi everyone, my name's Kayla and we are converting a 98 um, Star Trans bus. And we have two beautiful dogs, Grizz and Sky. Sky, hi, pretty. <laughs> so, so far, um, we had this bus given to us. Actually, um, we were fortunate enough. My mother actually um, owned a business that she used to use this for, and um, it no longer is of use to her business. So, it's been sitting for like three or four years. Um, so, I was like, Mom. What are you doing with that bus? I want to, I want to convert it. <laughs> so my mom gifted the bus to us. Um, so now it's completely in my name. Um, we started by, um, well, first when we showed up um, to pick up the bus, um, we flew into San Francisco, um, and then my brother picked us up in San Francisco and drove us about two two hours away, um, right outside of Yosemite National Park. And we picked the bus up. Um, when we got there, uh, it wouldn't start. Um, we were pretty positive it was the battery because everything was beautiful on this bus before you know it sat for three years so we got a new battery um the brand of that battery was a super start extreme and we got that from o'reilly's auto parts uh shout out <laughs> and um so as soon as we replaced the battery in the bus um which my brother and my boyfriend did um it started right up it was amazing i was so excited and then there was one tire in the back on the inside because there's two tires on either side in the back um some wiring was showing. So we decided to just get all new tires. We didn't want to risk it driving 17 hours home to Colorado. So we went ahead and got all the tires replaced. And then um, that's pretty much the only money we've had to put into it so far. And then we took all of the seats out. So we decided it would be cool to keep one set of the original seats and um, we decided to turn it around to face the back of the bus. Um, so I'll show you guys that. See, this is the front of the bus. Here's the door, um, the driver's seat. And this is where we kept the one set of the original seats and we turned it around so it's facing the back of the bus. Um, what we plan to do with that is, um, hey Chris, <laughs> we plan on building a table kind of onto it right here um, so that you can sit at the table um, while sitting in those original seats. Um, and then we're going to build like bench seats um, up 
all the way till the end of this. And then our bed is going to start right here. Um, we're going to build the bed up um, probably closer to the window um, so that we have plenty of storage underneath the bed. Um, and we're just going to leave it all open because we don't like the idea of having to lift the bed up. Um, that's just too much work. So we just want to keep it all open on the bottom underneath the bed so that we can slide our paddle boards. We have an inflatable paddle board. Um, so we're just going to want to slide all of that underneath the bottom of the bed. Um, we are going to be removing this handicap ramp, um, which we will record the whole thing. Um, and I like your guys' feedback. Uh, leave me comments. Um, I am really new to the YouTube world, so I want to get you guys better content. Um, so please let me know what I can do. This is obviously going to be taken out. Um, this table was just here to help us get it here. Um, we picked it up in California, and my mom kind of just had this stuff kind of in her way. So she gave us this little love seat. Um, probably won't stay. Maybe. Who knows? Um, this mini fridge and my boyfriend doesn't want to do the whole mini fridge. Um, he wants to go of more to more of a sustainable way, um, like in a cooler, um, which we could definitely do that. Um, so we might just be selling that if anybody's looking for a mini fridge, it's in good condition. Um, and then we're probably going to build up a little kitchen right here. I'm so excited. And we finally made it home to Colorado. If you liked us, hit that like button and subscribe for more adventures.